Brain drop, drop top, drop top, smoking no cook in the hot box. Fucking on your bitch, yeah. Die, die. Cause in the door in the cock box. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's NXTEG, and uh, I kind of want to do a podcast, so this is what this is. And it's mainly going to be about the Double XL freshman cover of 2017. Uh, Generation Next, I don't believe that whatsoever. And disclaimer, this is my opinion. You have your opinion. Go ahead in the comments, type me your opinion, and I'll gladly read it. But just keep in mind, respect my opinion, respect your opinion. I don't want you to be like, whoa, did did I don't want to fucking hear it. I just want to read your opinion and disagree to like agree to disagree okay like okay all of our opinions are not the same clearly you know there's so many artists in this road and a limited amount of people who could be on the cover so yeah let's just yeah drop it there but let's go ahead and start it off first with um uh, let's go with ugly god right it's now i think he should have been on 2016 uh I feel like it was just, he's popping. He was popping in 2016. Granted, bro, Ugly Gods, that man, like the booty mixtape, water, like hits, bro. But that was like last year. Like everyone was like all up on Ugly God last year, and they're like, I just feel he was. It was too late for him. But the fact that he's on it now, cool. Like better. Better late than never, right? Like, cool. Ugly God's on it. You know, he can see him gang gang. He's happy. So, Aname, real cool dude. Uh, yeah, I feel like he really deserved this cover. And he was he was a real strong pick. Like, me and my brother always talked about it. Like, last summer, he's a real strong pick for this year. So, it's it's really makes me happy that he made it on the cover because Colin Brio was a dope ass mixtape, you know. Rage in Peace is like, oh bro, I graduated like last week. That was all I was listening to. It's because I was just like getting hyped, and I just needed something to do just to go ham with. And then just hear that, oh, graduating, oh, scholarship, like that shit. That shit's hype, bro. Like <laughs> I don't know what to say, but that shit's just it goes hard. So. And he really has worked hard for where he is at. So, shout out my boy Name. You made it on the cover. You the dude. Uh, XX Tentacion. Everyone knew he was going to be on it. I mean, he was a favorite for out of everyone's. So, he was a favorite pick. And uh, you you can really look in the cover that, that he's happy that he made it. You know? Real happy. Look at that smile. You too, Cardi. You ain't slick. Uh... Cap G, really, uh, I mean, from what I believe, he's from Atlanta, right? Let me look this up before I get it wrong. And it was like, he ain't from Atlanta. He's from the blah, 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 which I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he is a rapper from Atlanta, Hispanic heritage. And he rocks with the, he rocks with the dudes, man. Oh, Long Beach, California. Okay, raised in College Park, Georgia, in Atlanta. Okay, so, yeah, so, 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 yeah. I'd say Atlanta's there. Okay. I rock with him. Uh, only song I know by him and I really like is, I had to go with your girlfriend. Like, <laughs> that's, that song goes pretty hard. So, I ain't mad, you know. I ain't really complaining about it. I do feel like. It could he could be one of those potential slots where it was like you could have put someone else who really deserves it because he already has cloud like is do, does he really need to be on it? I don't think so. I think he's fine by his own. But hey, publicity is publicity. So congrats, man. And uh, Playboy Cardi, real good. I mean, I like Magnolia. I bumped that. Uh, he does his thing with you know ASAP. And yeah, bro, I believe he was a good pick for 2017. Well deserved. Uh, Boogie with the hoodie as well. You know, he was one that everyone was like, "Oh, I ever heard of this dude?" You know, Boogie. He pretty good. This and this and that. Had a song with Kodak and this and this. And then just boom, blew up. Matter of seconds. And they're just like, put him on the cover. So they put him on the cover. This is where he's at now. Uh, 
now this is where we get a little bit shaky on the others uh made in tokyo i love bro he goes hard every song he makes it's a hit uh skateboard p that was like all i was listening to when it came out but i feel like it was just too late and if you want to talk about late i'm getting to it because kyle on money head boy you ain't safe but made in tokyo i feel like he's above it like i mean he can say y'all can say that he's not you can say that oh this and that he he no he's doing good on his own i think it's just like ugly god like it was just like oh huh you were supposed to be on it last year, but we didn't have space last year, so you're on this year. Like, the fuck is he doing, Vanessa? Like, you can't be picking people. Like, I just, I don't know. I feel like it was very limited, too. And they're just like, Ugly God and uh, Made in Tokyo. Just, they were late picks. Now, that's a difference between... There's a, there's a strong difference between, you know, Made in Tokyo and Ugly Guide and Kyle. Because Kyle, boy, what are you doing on the cover? Like, y'all can say that, uh, <sighs> to me, he's washed up. Like, 2015, he had, like, an a full album with Futuristic. And Futuristic was popping off of YouTube, and so was Kyle. So Kyle had clout, and he did his thing with everyone. And I feel like it's just, like, bro, what are you doing? Like, you are already, like, popping. What are you doing on the cover? Like, I just feel like he's, you know, he got held back from the senior class. <laughs> like, he got, I feel like Lil Yachty, that, that whole thing just really popped off with him. And that's what I was like, oh, okay, like, yeah. Yeah. You want to be back up on the map? Let's make you know I spy. You know, let's get let's get you popping again, and then maybe you can you know really get some clout. And it's just like, bro, you already did a bunch of stuff with other rappers. Like you you've been popping. I don't know why you're doing the double XL freshman this year. Like honestly. Y'all want to tell me a hit that Kyle had besides I Spy? Honestly. Y'all can tell me in the comments. Like, I'll honestly go look it up and be like, oh, yeah, that whole smacks or this and this and that. But no, he's been popping. Why is he up here? Now, uh, PNB Rock, Rock with him. You know, I really like the track he spit on uh, for the Fast and Furious. You know, really goes hard. I want the gang, gang, gang. Like, it goes hard. Uh,. Another one is, uh, this girl, I can't really announce, like, pronounce her name, Kimaria, Kimaria, but, I mean, she's a West Coast girl, did stuff with YG, I heard her stuff smacks, I haven't really heard it, I'm just gonna take the word for it, just cause I'm just like, okay, I'll, I'll look into it later, but, I mean, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna be like, alright, yeah, cool, like, y'all rock with her, everyone needs that one pick, we're just like, I bet, like, I feel like that's how everyone was, with Denzel like people knew who Denzel was it was just like okay we're gonna put him on and then people are gonna be like oh like who's this cat like let me let me go and listen and, and you know give it a peek and I feel like that's what this spot for her is it's just like oh who's this and you know really giving that clout like if anyone's a true freshman Aname and her that's that's I'm sorry that's just how it is maybe boogie maybe but I feel like Ah, uh, yeah. Those are mainly the two that are, like, really, should be really looked into. And, yeah, my part, I didn't really look into her music, but I rock with it. It's cool. I will definitely look into it later on, but right now, this is just not on my agenda. Like, <laughs> I will definitely do it, though. And, uh, where the hell is Little Pump? Where's Little Pump, bro? Lil Pump, I like, okay, I'm going to give you my list who I feel should have been on it, right? XX Tentacion, Given, Playboy Cardi, you can stay on. Aname, that's been my boy. Like, he's, he's 
need, he not that he needed this cover, but it's well deserved. It's well deserved that he's on this cover. Uh, Lil Pump, you know, Lil Pump, ooh, Lil Pump, yeah, definitely should have been on the cover, but it's cool. I don't know why they didn't put him on. I feel like they, like, he was a little too young, but I don't know. Smoke Perp, I feel like, is another one who definitely should be on there. Again, I feel like they're just, I think they didn't put him on there just because, not that they didn't have clout, because I know for sure people would have picked him. It's just the fact of, it's a little too early in the game for them to be up in there. And can we get some, like, can we please get, like, international? I would love to see, like, some Asian rappers on there. Like, I, I wouldn't want to say Keith Ape, because I feel like Keith Ape, you know, like, this one, like, who should have been on, like, 2015, 2016. But, you know, I would really like to see more incorporated, like, more international and lower artists in that. Because that would be dope. But, yeah, Lil Pump, I definitely feel should have been on it. I mean, honestly, if I had to take anyone off and replace them with Lil Pump, honestly, it would have to be Made in Tokyo. Like, it's just not your time, man. Like, it is not. And I just just burped my bed. (laughs) What the fuck? But... Uh, yeah, I just, I don't know. That's that's the list I think should have been on there. Y'all go ahead and tell me in the comments, you know, who y'all think should have been on there, who y'all would have taken off, you know. Yo, give a like, a comment, and subscribe. You know, let me know what y'all think, if y'all rock with it or not. If y'all don't, that's cool, that's my opinion, blah, blah, blah. Give me your opinion, I want to read it. And then maybe I'll disagree with you, agree with you. Maybe we can have, like, back and forth in the comments. I don't fucking know. But, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and give it a like. And uh, I'll see y'all guys later. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, I came in with a saw. Ooh. Yeah, I came in with a saw. Yeah, bitch, I flare it raw. Yeah, bitch, I flare it raw. Yeah, yeah, I came in with a saw.